Welcome to my organized gear explosion. <laughs> my name is Steve Drake and I'm a hunter, photographer, and content creator. I've been working in the hunting industry for about 10 years. Hunting and just documenting hunts has taken me all over the world. Just seen and experienced some really wild things over the years. <laughs> And today I am packing for my next adventure, heading up to a little island off the coast of BC called Haida Gwaii. I'm going with two buddies, Scott and Connor, and we'll be bow hunting black-tailed deer. We're also going to be fishing and throwing crab pots. And the goal of this trip is to make really epic surf and turf meals on the beach. Probably the number one question that I get asked is what gear do you take on your hunts? From photography gear to backpacking gear, camping gear, you know, food, everything. Like what do you take on your hunts? And today I'm going to dive into everything that I'm taking on this trip to BC. All right, first up is food. And for this hunt, I'm packing 2,800 calories per day. And that consists of honey stinger waffles, three of them, pro bar meal, pro bar base, trail mix, cliff shot blocks, cliff shot gel, chai tea for every morning, freeze dried dinner. And here's a list of all the food and it's broken out by calories. Next up is camera gear. I'll be taking two Sony a7R3 camera bodies this guy and the one I'm filming with. I've shot Canon for about 10 years and I recently just switched to Sony. Canon makes epic products. Like you really can't go wrong with Canon, Nikon, Sony, whatever, they're all great. Uh, the reason I went with Sony, three things. One, they have a completely silent shutter, which is epic for bow hunting and just any time that sound is of a concern. It's also really nice when shooting on silent because your photo subjects, when you're shooting people, they don't know you're taking photos of them and I've found that they give a more natural expression, a natural pose, but when they hear the shutter click some people start acting kind of funny and goofy but uh, the second reason uh, I will save a little bit of space and weight all the gear that I'll be taking on this trip I'll probably save two to three pounds ounces certainly matter on backpack hunts and two to three pounds is pretty significant so stoked on that and the third reason the video specs on Sony are just better Sony will shoot uncropped 4k uh, as well as 120 frames per second at 1080 lenses I'll be taking first up this Sony 70 to 200 uh, f 2.8 G Master lens, the Sony 90 mil macro, Zeiss Betas 85 mil f, f 1.8 for Sony, Sony 50 mil 1.8, and this lens that I'm currently shooting with, which is the Sony 16 to 35 G Master f 2.8 lens. A GoPro Hero 6, Swarovski 95 mil spotting scope. You pair this with this Surui T024X tripod, and this, a phone scope, you put your iPhone in here and you can take really epic wildlife footage through the spotter with this guy. One terabyte of memory cards, Sony batteries. I typically shoot a thousand photos a day and I usually run through two batteries per day. So if it's a 10 day trip, I'll take 20 batteries. If it's a five day trip, I'll take 10. An intervalometer for shooting time lapses, circular polarizing filters, and I've got one for every lens. These guys allow you to see into water and they also just make the colors and the clouds uh, just more vibrant and they do exactly what polarizing sunglasses do. An Outtex underwater housing. All right, next up is my backpacking gear, my camping gear, clothing, etc. But before we do that, um, I just want to break up this piece with some video clips from a hunt I documented on Kodiak Island last fall with hunter Brad Christian and guide Cole Kramer. Enjoy.
next up is backpacking gear. First off, doesn't really fit into the frame, but this is a Stone Glacier Sky 7900 guide backpack. Absolutely huge, can fit a ton of gear in it. It's super light, you can carry really heavy loads. Then we got a Stone Glacier skyscraper two-person tent. And inside that tent, I've got a little sponge. Pretty much every tent I've ever used, whether it's a single wall, double wall, whatever, they all get condensation to some degree. And so every morning when I wake up, um, if there's condensation on the walls, I'll just take this little sponge, I'll wipe down the condensation, wring it out, and I'm good to go. This thing weighs like a couple grams maybe, super light. They have a Laundry Mirage sleeping bag. It's in a granite gear compression sack. Nemo Tensor insulated sleeping pad and a camp pillow. I love camp pillows. They are a little bit extra space and weight, but this little creature comfort just allows you to sleep so much better in the mountains and you wake up refreshed and you just feel good. Little things like this, I'm all about it. Schnee's Beartooths. Got Crocs for creek crossings, as well as just camp shoes and air drying your feet. On these guys, so normally uh, this strap right here holds your foot in place pretty good, but if you're crossing really fast moving water, sometimes these won't hold your heel in place. I just put some little, little bungee cord here, and this just kind of locks down around my ankle better and prevents them from potentially pulling off and floating down the stream. Easton carbon fiber ultralight trekking pole. Got this Phoenix HL 60R headlamp. And what I really like about this guy is it uses a really big battery. It's an 18650 battery. This thing is rechargeable and this thing just lasts a really long time. I found that headlamps that use AAA batteries especially, they just, they do not last long at all. So I prefer bigger batteries just because you get better life out of them. Got 50 feet of rope here with carabiner on it for hanging our food in trees because there is going to be a lot of black bears on the island. A Sawyer Mini water filtration system. An emergency kit which consists of Fire starter, quick clot clotting sponge, an SOL emergency bivy, the lighter, matches. It's good to have a second way to start a fire. Multi-tool, extra teepee, because you never know. Emergency headlamp. This is a little compression wrap. Inside here, I've got a bunch of ibuprofen. These are MicroPure water purification tablets. Inside this guy, I've got half noon tablets and half Pepto-Bismol. And then this guy, this is probably my most important piece. This is a Garmin inReach satellite texting device and it allows me to text anybody from anywhere in the world as well as press an SOS button. Sika shooter gloves, mosquito net, a buff, and this is mainly for wind protection, sun protection, as well as bug protection. Sika core lightweight hoodie, Sika's Kelvin active jacket, Sika scent pants with removable knee pads, Sika's Kelvin light hoodie, Sika's storm front rain gear, Sika's merino underwear, and fits socks. Got a one liter platypus water bottle. And what I really love about this thing is that once you've drank all the water, it rolls up this small. There's like literally no size or weight consequence. And then I've got a one and a half liter Nalgene. I always like to have at least one hard bottle with me just because these things are really burly in case that platypus uh, breaks. Occasionally they can get little puncture holes in them. So it's always nice to have a hard one for backup. Outdoor research dry bags, store food and other clothing and stuff just because we are going to be coastal and it's likely going to be really wet. An MSR wind burner stove and since I can't fly with fuel, uh, as soon as we get there I'll stop at a little outdoor sporting goods store and pick up some fuel for this guy. A titanium camp mug, a titanium spork, and you'll notice this guy is pretty stinking long. A normal spork or spoon or fork is like this long, this one's longer, and it's meant so that you don't get your fingers dirty and stuff and covered in food when you're digging into your, your freeze dried bags. Toilet paper, wet wipes, and my toiletry kit. And lastly, all this gear fits into these three pieces of luggage. I've got the Pelican 1510 case, and I use that as a carry-on. I never check my camera gear. And then I've got a Sitka Drifter 95 liter bag. And the big bag is the Sitka Nomad, and it's a wheeled rolling case, which is awesome. What you didn't know is that I have magical backpacks and magical gear that all just packs itself. It's, it's pretty nice. You guys should try it. All right, that is everything that I'm taking to BC. Connor and Scott have got the hunting and fishing gear. So let's fast forward a few days to Haida Gwaii. <laughs>
Mm-hmm.